So hey guys, today's a new video, and uh, sorry for being missing for about two days. Um, not really much to tell about that, really, I was just a little overworked and really just tired, so I, there wasn't much to do, and um, another thing, I didn't realize that the Tachi and Sasuke event was five days. There was a couple of you who told me about it um, being five days, and only after the video did I realize that, so yeah, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, so today's tomorrow in Darui event, um, it's a two-day event, so yeah, um, let's get into that. So, as you can see, it's a new diamond card being Tamari, and there's a new diamond card being Darui. Um, you can get, um, Tamari, no, uh, you can get Darui second passive if you recharge, um, you're basically gonna have to recharge a good hundred dollars plus. Um, to get the secondary passive, you're gonna have to get the, um, you're going to have to recharge 3,100 gold, and you're going to get, uh, basically, if I'm not mistaken, a diamond tamari at that point, if you recharge 3,100 gold, um, uh, a gold tamari, sorry, not a diamond tamari, and, uh, silver, possibly, um, bron uh, it, bronze, possibly silver, Darui, at that point, so, yeah, it's it's an okay event. It's a, it's rather pricey though, so I mean, just keep that in mind. Um, but the consumption event's very good, and honestly, Darui has the possibility to be quite powerful. Now, if you look at the consumption reward, um, in there, there's two skills for Darui. Actually, there's the double Black Panther, which by release of the unique skill, release one lightning clone, increase Taijutsu attack by fifty percent, tenacity by one hundred percent, damage. Oh, dodge by 30% for two rounds. And it increases uh, Taijutsu attack 6,200 plus 320 per level. HP 13k plus 600 per level. Tenacity 50 plus 4 per level. And uh, Ninjutsu defense 4,100 plus 340 per level. Now, um, what you need for this to equip this to Darui, you need a level 105 Darui. So that means you need a, a gold Darui or a diamond Darui. Um, you can actually grind out Darui, you just go to chapter 23, go to battle plan, and then just, uh, either do it the normal way, or, um, just go ahead and, uh, use wipeout coupons. Now, keep in mind that, honestly, Darui's fragments are gonna take a very long time. Um, some of us, well, some of the people I talked to, or the little hiatus that I had, um, meant, noticed that it took him about a good 7k stamina just to get um, one Darui. So, yeah, don't be too surprised if it turns out that, well, you know, you need to grind out basically a lot if you want him for free. Um, now, I haven't really mentioned Tamari. Tamari is a good card, I suppose. Um, once again, I haven't really tried her out. But honestly, I'm not quite interested in, in her. She's... Uh, She's she has a skill and uh, she has a passive. You get something if you get her diamond and stuff. But quite honestly, it's nothing too special. Now she does have a few items. Uh, those being the giant folding fan, the black silk lining, um, Tamari's ninja suit, and then the sand ninja headband. Um, so that's four items, which is quite good. Actually, better than I originally thought. But once again, um. She doesn't have that many skills, um, as you can see. I mean, the giant folding fan, it does give her a skill during, after a normal attack. Um, basically, what it does, it has the ability to deal ninjutsu damage to the front row enemies, and then has a chance to lower their chakra um, for one round, and then increases her own injury to attack by 20 percent um which now that i think about it it's actually rather good but once again uh when, i'm not quite interested in her i'm more than likely going to be skipping this event once again uh because for me to get anything decent from the consumption rewards i would have to recharge and i'm really not looking to recharge right about now um it's just money i need to spend and while Darui and tomorrow look really good i don't particularly look i'm not particularly looking into recharging right now um 
So, uh, what are the recharge reward? I mean, the gold, the rewards if you have them at a certain point. So, if you have Tamari um, bronze, you're gonna get to teach some ten, level so level six pill scroll package sums five. If you have her silver, you're gonna get the exclusive equipment giant folding fan. If you have her gold, you're gonna get the refining material for the giant folding fan. And then if you have her diamond, you're gonna get one hundred gold sand. Now for Darui, um. If you have a bronze, you're going to get the Tote H times 10. If you're level 6 pill scroll package times 5. Um, level 6 pill bag, my bad. Um, if you have a silver, you're going to get the exclusive equipment amber purifying pot. If you have a gold, you're going to get the refining material for the amber purifying pot. And then finally, if you have a diamond, you're going to get the um, diamond A. Uh, I mean, uh, 100A, which is the the diamond training materials and then the refining materials for tier four um yeah uh shit so let's see so now the thunder cloud inner wave um to get that passive for darui once again you need them level 105 but you also need to have consumed a good 20k worth of gold um same thing for the uh not not the same thing uh actually yeah same thing for one of his items which is the um exclusive equipment lightning letter tattoo and then finally for what do you call it um let's see what is it what is it for his other passive you need the you need to consume let's see where is it You need to consume. Damn it, where is it? I was wrong. Oh, yeah, you need to consume 6k for his other passive, the double blank Black Panther skill. But I mean, uh, if you're gonna get Darui, just try to get his secondary passive. Don't particularly worry about getting him up to gold, you can do that later. Um, just worry about getting his passives for now because they look to be rather good. Um, now I don't think I've explained Tamari's passive right now. Um, let me find it over here. It's, uh, I think I covered it last video, but just in case. World Wind Pinching Wall. So, with a chance to release after the round ends, basically every turn. Um, deal ninjutsu damage to the front row enemies. It crash them for one round. Um, I would assume that crash just makes them unable to move. Um, remove the front row enemies shield. Um, once again, take away their shields, fairly basic. And it increases, uh, ninjutsu defense 28k plus 750 per level. Ninjutsu attack 15k plus 550 per level if you equip it to Tamari. Now once again to get this passive you actually need to do consumption so to get the actual passive um, you need to consume a good let's see uh, 12k and you're gonna get her items. Now if you want all of Tamari's items you need to consume 15k. If you want all of Darui's items you're gonna have to consume um, 25k. Um, should you consume during this event? If you have the 25k, I would gladly... If I had the 25k, I would gladly do so. Um, because Darui seems to be very, very useful. And it would give me the ability to test out whether or not he can compete with Hashirama, um, who's better for the Ninja World War. But unfortunately, I don't have any of that. So, I mean, I only have 8k. And if I want everything for Darui, I'd have to drop a good 100 and basically $200, which reminds me, this is actually a, gold, a double gold recharge event, so keep that in mind, um, I'm not quite sure what they're gonna, what they're gonna do tomorrow, but yeah, so now, say that you just want a, uh, Darui, just to have a Darui, um, if you recharge to 20 gold, you're gonna get 30 fragments, um, for Darui, and then if you do a gold ninja gold 10 draw, you're gonna get another 70 fragments, um, now if you recharge for two days continuously, 500 gold, you're going to get one Darui and then one Tamari, um, at her final form, I would assume. So, I mean, yeah, it's, it's there, I guess. So that's about it for that part of the video. Um, I did my Ninja World War. Uh, I've been really lazy in part two. I haven't been doing the Ninja World War. I haven't been logging in constantly. Um, if I had done the Ninja World War since... Well, I think I stopped about since Monday, possibly Tuesday. 
If I'd been doing it since then, I'd probably have a good 15k worth of gold just saved up and it would have been easier to get um, all of the items for Darui, but I was lazy and I can't do that now, unfortunately. That was just my own um, stupidity, I suppose, mm -hmm. um, at that point. So let's see, I'm going to go to YouTube quickly and then go ahead and do Q&A um, as fast as I can and uh, upload the video, really. <laughs> Um, and I I got 810 subscribers. Um, that's pretty awesome. Thank you guys. Um, yeah. So let's see. Um, since there seems to be well two videos basically that I uploaded. Um, quickly gonna do this. Look through here. Can you do an adventure let's play on Ninja Hayate? Where would you do let's play without money? And you will explain each character we need to have. Curse heals, how to overclock uh, when you started, how to take down the Tilt Beast. Um, Plume, I would, but <laughs> I barely um, I barely have time as it is right now um, for this game. And keep in mind, uh, uh, I also started playing Dungeon Link. So, I mean, I, I could try. Uh, don't get me wrong. I there's a very There's a very real possibility I may do that. But at the same time, keep in mind, I'm not as patient as you guys. Um, I'm very impatient. So, yeah, um, I, I, I'll definitely try. Don't get me wrong. I like, um, but it, that sort of project would take months, honestly, and it wouldn't be anything fast. Um, can you do a quick showcase about Naruto skin sexy technique? Now, I don't actually have that skin um, simply because uh, it was an event exclusive. And to get the actual skin, you had to have recharged, I do believe, 20k worth of gold. So I don't have it, unfortunately. I'll try to see if somebody has it and if they would let me do a quick showcase on it in their account. Or, uh, or at least have them send me the stats and such for everything. But yeah, I can't do that. So I continued, well done, cool tutorial. 19-11 walkthrough. Don't tell me where to get Obito, green card, or blue card. Um... Okay, just in case you were being sarcastic, um, which I get the feeling you were. How do you get Obito? Just go to chapter 13. Uh, death of Obito, no, not death of Obito, you'll never get Obito from there. And that's not being sarcastic, that's just fact. Um, a new hero, that's where you get Obito. Um, or you can just go ahead and go to shop. Go to scroll, um, scroll to the right. Um, this is an Android. I'm not quite sure whether um, iOS has this feature, but go to Kakashi's practice pack and you're going to get two Obito Chihas and a couple of white Zetsu cells. So, I mean, it's for some gold, but either way. Now the walkthrough, I'll do that later. Um, at a later date, I may just do that right after I finish this video or two weeks from now. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Um, Let's see, it takes me an average about of about 10 to 20 strikes to get one WWE fragment, so it could take the average person at most about 1,200 stamina. Um, Maddie, um, 10 to 20 tries. Eh, yeah, maybe. Okay, yeah, not 7k stamina, yeah, wow, my fucking math is way off. Yeah, that's part of the reason I'm just really out of it, I suppose. But yeah, I think you're right, Maddie. Um, Yeah, see, when I was doing the math for um, uh, for the, for the Dewey, I was kind of going off of uh, needing 1,000 fragments instead of what's it, what it actually is, like 6,000 fragments. So yeah, um, not purple card that way, you, for gold card that way, you need probably a good, let's see, six, seven thousand stamina, possibly eight thousand, but to get gold card, keep in mind. Um, you see my profile pic, that's a Madara from the game, he can even become a god, that's pretty cool. Um... Hey Luis, do you know where to get the Amu Kill Order? It's used to refine the equipment to S rank. Um, I think Frap told you. Um, but just go to the arena. Go to the honor, honor shop. Honor. I scroll to the left. And Amu Kill Order will be right there for 300 honor. Which reminds me I need to get some tips. Hey just...
There we go. Um, let's see, let's see. I tried the event dungeons. Three got 20 Sunati fragments, 10 Naruto fragments, uh, 10 Sasuke fragments, 60 Sake from it, and was able to upgrade one of my Sasuke's for golding my silver one after other fragments as a drop out of curiosity. Um, uh, Izareth, it drops, uh, apart from all of those fragments that you got, it also drops some. Um, or tomorrow fragments and tsunade fragments so really that should be about it i think you got most of them you're just missing jiraiya and or tomorrow fragments <laughs> when do you think the next obito event is going to be don't really know <laughs> and yeah alberto seems to be right on that probably when they release it but it's probably going to cost a lot of cash any advice on details um i need your team bruh um and sorry for that how that sounds, but um uh let's see um um yeah get a Tsunade, get a uh Orochimaru, um get a purple card Hashirama, learn how to overclock and you should be able to take down the A Tails fairly easily. Alternatively get Sasuke to gold and uh equip the Sword of Kusunagi to Sasuke. Um Load them up with as much ninjutsu attack as you possibly can. Um, put in an Orochimaru. And just hope to get lucky. Um, keep in mind that you're going to need sealers. You're going to need um, healers. So, yeah. When does Zabuza get the ability to use Water Clone Passive? Um, he actually gets the ability at Gold. Possibly Diamond, if I recall correctly. No, he actually... Yeah, he gets the ability to do it at Gold. Um, he's one of those few cards that upgrades to... Um, Gold at, uh, to diamond at level 90, if I recall correctly. So yeah, he gets the ability at gold. Um, Where do you get water clone for Gisame? I already sold the one I got from 8-9. Um, Yeah, just go to 8-9 and do it as many times <laughs> as you can, and you'll get the water clone for Gisame. Um, how does one get me Fune um, 24-1? Or recharging, quite honestly. Now, the Mifune fragments are a rare drop. They're like the, the Darui, Darui fragments. So keep that in mind. Okay, so I'm going to be the one to ask. But how do you need... Do you need... You just need Orochimaru and his tier 4 to overclock. Or do you need Hashirama as well? Oh, and correct. Congrats on the 800 subs. <laughs> um, The tier 4 ring is needed. Um... You can work with only Orochimaru in his tier 4 ring, but more often than not, if you do only work with that, you're going to have to have the card that you're trying to overclock. Have the ability to constantly reapply its buff, its percentage buff. Um, cards like Tobirama, cards like um, Tsunade, Sakura. Can overclock with just Orochimaru by himself. Um, you don't need Hashirama to overclock. Now, if you want other cards to overclock, such as Naruto, such as Sasuke, if you want cards like um, the Mizukage Madara Uchiha to overclock, then you will need to actually have um, uh, Hashirama in there. How much would a gold killer be cost? Yeah, quite a bit. Um, Just rough math, I'd say he's going to cost you a good... $800, really? <sighs> Could you help me be 24-1? I have Silver Naruto, Strongest Father and Sin. Uh, strongest Father and Sin Skin. Um, gold Boruto, Gold Mitsuki, Purple Card 6, Path Madara. Um, bronze Indara, Sasuke, and Bronze Sakura. P.S. What's the best passive skill for Sasuke and Sakura? And where do I get them? Um, for Sasuke, if you're just looking for damage output and not CP... Um, go ahead and equip Demon Lantern to Sasuke. And for Sakura, her best passive, in my opinion, is the Unrivaled Shrink passive. Now, the Demon Lantern, you can get it from the Heroic Dungeon. I can't quite remember which dungeon at this particular moment. But you can get it from the Heroic Dungeons. Now, for Sakura's um, passive, you actually need to consume during her event. It's only an event exclusive, unfortunately. So, let's see. 24-1. <laughs>
Huh. Um, you're gonna need quite a bit of hit, if I recall correctly, simply because these guys have a decent amount of dodge, those guys being um Hanzo and uh, Mifune. But honestly, Oh, hey, I forgot to equip the Kershila Wrath on. What's her face? Um, Hinata. <laughs> um, let's see, your team was strong as fun at Naruto, Sasuke, um, Sakura. Mitsuki, okay. Um, so you're gonna wanna put in um Naruto first, uh then Boruto if you can. Keep in mind that for Boruto and Naruto you're gonna wanna try to put in um Oh, you don't have it, crap. Um Um, you may want to switch your formation to whatever formation you used to get past Hanzo the first time in 23-11. Um, that may be your best bet because, um, it doesn't look like you can do it with this formation unless you, um, overpower Naruto and all the cards to deal a massive amount of damage. But if you could do that, you would have already done it. <laughs> hey, my team is, uh, Gold Haku. Gold Team 7 Gold, Haku, Sasori, and Kazekage Puppet. I want to get rid of Sasori in the third Kazekage Puppet and put in two other cards. Um, Hinata, Kakashi, and Obito would be good. Um, you can take your pick between those three. But yeah, those those would be good cards to put in. Darui would actually be a good card to put in if you have all of his items and his passives. But he's going to cost quite quite a bit of money right now. On your war team right now, uh, who would you replace if you didn't have Hashi and Tobi? Um, for Hashi, I'd replace him with a Darui. If you can get Darui to gold, I'd replace him with a Darui. And for Tobirama, I would replace him with Jiraiya. Yeah. Okay, so I have Gold Naruto, Slug Sakura. Eternal Mangekyo, Sharingan Sasuke, Silver Moon, Zabuza, Shikujutsu, Jutsu. Uh, Kakuzu level 91, Slug Saw, Tsunade, and I can't beat chapter 19. And I need a 3 star, 14 14. Okay, let's see. First of all, you got to chapter 19, so. Um. If you want to get further, just get Naruto and um, Sasuke their skin. The strongest father and son skin for Naruto. This it being this skin. Right here. You're going to have to reach, not recharge, but consume uh, 15k worth of gold to get it. But it's a very good skin. Very powerful. I use this skill all the time. It will, it will up your DPS, your damage output quite nicely. And for Sasuke, you need to get this skin right here. Damn it, not that one. This skin, Indora Sasuke, once again, 15k gold. Um, and you're going to be able to deal a lot of damage. Um, I've dealt billions, you're probably going to be in the millions. <laughs> Let's see. Um... <laughs> Where do you get passive skills? In the event or shops, really. Um, 13-6 for Green Obito. Um, uh, for my Kuruma Naruto, should I put in Ninetales Chakra Body or Lava Release Ross and Shuriken as a passive? Uh, Lava Release isn't a passive, it's a active skill. And yeah, you should put in Ninetales Chakra Body if you can. <laughs> Also, it's a good passive and unique for a Tentails Obito. Um, uh, for Obito, 6 path Obito. Um, Jinjuriki would be the best. A Tentails Jinjuriki, but you need need to have him gold for that. Or silver at the very least. 
So just to clip yin and yang, which is this one right here, just to clip this this passive skill right over here. Um, it's called yin yang release. You can get it from the shop. Um, it, I do believe it costs 2000 gold, but it is a fairly good um, passive skill. As you can see, you make sure you use your immune to ninjutsu and taijutsu damage for three rounds after you release your unique skill. And if you equip it, um, it gives you 5,500 HP plus 610 HP per level. And then it gives you 3,100 ninjutsu attack plus 200 per level. The best thing about this passive is that you can equip it to Obito at level 75. So you don't need to worry about getting him to gold, bronze, or diamond. Let's uh, see. Um, it was a five day event, not a three. So what, uh, Albert? Yeah, sorry, I, I, I was just, I don't know, out of it at that point. Hey, um, how can I be nineteen dash eleven plot by Danto? I have Slug Sakura, Sage Kabuto, Mangeki, or Shining Gun, Sasuke, Reoccurring Night, Obito, Gold Naruto, and Space Sam Kimui Kakashi. Please, any advice would be helpful. The Shida Sensei passive would be is gonna be your best friend, um, for um. Recurring Eye Obito. I'd recommend putting in Slug Sakura um, first, uh, but set it up in such a way that she releases her unique skill um, right before uh, Danzo releases his. That way, when he releases his, um, your cards won't die from the damage. Um, they may get an effect. I can't remember whether Danzo puts out an effect or not, but they won't die from damage. So, yeah. <laughs> I have about 50k gold. For which event should I wait to spend on? Um, Darui and Tamari would be pretty good if you can get Darui to Diamond. Um, well, to level 105 eventually. Um, but other than that, um, any of these events would be good, quite honestly. Um, a Naruto event would be good also simply because you can get the Shadow Clone passive. Um, I'd say do it during a Tobirama slash Hashirama event, but since you're VAP zero, it's going to take you a very long time to actually get those cards up to gold. Um, yeah, so I mean, yeah, Darui event right about now would probably be best for you. Um, simply because you can grind out the cards eventually and you would already have all of the items and all of the skills for the cards right now. I have a few actives and passives. I'm trying to upgrade, but acquiring the scrolls just through event pickups is taking forever. What's the best way for me to get that? About 10,000. Um, just go to the, the mine shop um, and all powerful scrolls, buy as many as you can with as much rare ore as you have. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I don't see. Um, you need to make a Nagata showcase eventually. I mean, um, I need to get in talks with um. Talos about that because he has a gold Nagato sh right there. So if he'd let me do a showcase on his account, that'd be awesome. But I haven't been talking to him for a while. So I mean, that's really just uh, me getting into contact with them and then setting something up. Um, can you show me where to find the Itachi secret so I can train up Sasuke? Panda player says it nicely here 21 4. How can you get Zetsu? Um, the Zetsu that I have, you have to get up the recharging. It was basically an auction to see who recharged the most. So yeah, it depends on your um on your server. If you're in like server twenty seven and nobody recharges, if the event comes up, you could probably get Zetsu for like a good fifty, sixty dollars. But if you're in like server one and you have a uh um it's a very active server, I would assume, server one. And you're pro to get the top to be the top recharger, you're gonna have to recharge a good 
$1,000 and that's how much you get Zetsu for. It varies depending on the server and just how lucky you are when it comes to the auction, basically. Um, don't tell me where to get Itachi Dungeon. Yeah, you can't get him during uh, dungeons. You can only recharge for him. And you can get reanimated Itachi, but it's not very good. I think I already said where to get Obito. Um, so Luis, I just got to move second to Chukage. I was wondering if there's any good passives and actives for him. And what should I do to get him stronger? I'm thinking of getting him to bronze as well as any tips on what I should do to get him stronger. Um, the alpha, just get him to gold and... Um, there is a passive for him and an active skill in the shop for him. But I would recommend only getting the passive skill. Um, the active skill is not particularly useful. Um, let me find it first. <laughs> or you could just wait for an event. Um, uh, during the event, they usually give out a... Very good passive for him uh, when you get him to gold. Yeah, see, this is the passive I was talking about. Hobby Technique would release. Um, clone skill book. The name's completely wrong for what it's supposed to be. But what it does, it splits the real body to block damage for one to two, four times. And also makes him immune to any sort of debuffs for three rounds after he releases his unique skill. Um, and just as a, when you equip it, he's immune to stun and to ceiling. It gives you 3,500 K H, uh, 3,500 HP plus 300 per level. Um, it gives you 1,900 ninjutsu attack plus 190 per level. Dodge 4,000 plus 345 per level. And it's just released time six. So once again, you are going to need a gold, um, move for that second Tichukage. <laughs> Let's see, um, damn, uh, what the fuck, all these new cards and shit, fuck, um, yeah, I mean, they have to release new cards if they want to keep us, um, interested, I mean, <laughs> part of the reason that I really didn't care about for the last events, because I have nearly everything I could have possibly gotten from the last event, um, so yeah. Congrats on 800 subs. Thank you. Um, I'm sure you'll get many more. Keep up the amazing gameplay. Thanks for making YouTube videos. Oh, you're welcome. And thank you, Ace. I appreciate that comment. Um, what would you suggest for my team? I have a gold crew on Naruto. No skin with level 5 wrath. Diamond Naraka with... Um, <laughs> with pain shutting gun tier 2. Gold Haku first. Purple card Sasuke. Um... Sakura and Goltasuri, everyone besides Naruto and Naraka Path have Keta healing, and I have a total of 22 mil combat power. <laughs> um, work on getting Sasuke to gold, and then work on getting Sakura to gold. Um, get the skin for Naruto, it's really useful. It takes a long time to get the gold for it, obviously, but it's really, really useful. So it looks like that's a bit last question. I'm sorry if I skipped your question, sometimes I just randomly skip them, I don't know why. Um, but yeah, so leave a like if you liked it, leave a dislike if you don't. Um, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with a new video, hopefully. So, yeah, um, sorry, I'm a little stuffy in from the nose, so you could probably hear that. I think it developed while the video was being made, so yay, I guess. So, yeah, um, bye guys, and thanks for being patient with me.